In the fall of 2015, Brett Beckett welcomed 27 students into his multimedia classroom with the purpose of creating something great. The following May, the students would be sitting, watching a full-length feature film that they created. This documentary shows the process of making this movie, all of the work that had to go into it, and everything in between. It started with the process of pre-production, and it can sometimes be the most difficult part of the making a movie. It includes everything from discovering locations, filming, writing a screenplay, and storyboarding. Pre-production is getting your actors, writing the script, and most importantly, writing the storyboarding so you know what kind of shots you're doing as the director of photography. What camera angles you're going to use, what the dialogue is going to be, who your actors are going to be, it's basically setting up for the entire thing. Pre-production was for the most part fairly easy, but a lot of times us, like all of us had to kind of create something together, like the screenplay and the storyboard had to all fit together, and sometimes that was difficult because this person had this idea and this person had this idea, and to make them all kind of mesh together. I'm mostly just writing the janitor script, uh, trying to fit it into the uh, other episodes that we had to uh, incorporate it with so we can have one uh, big story that connects these three episodes together. I think that was the most difficult task doing this, so, yeah. Not only was pre-production difficult in and of itself, but transferring all of the pre-production work and making it come to life was also difficult. It mainly helped with drawing out first, and when we drew it out, we did scene by scene, and camera shot by camera shot, and that really helped us know what to do. Pre-production, uh, deciding what to make, deciding which movie to do, deciding once we decided upon the Twilight Zone, a remake of some of the episodes of the Twilight Zone, we had to go through all of the episodes that we could find to see what would be appropriate to redo for school and um, what wouldn't. Some things would work easily, some things would be a little more difficult, so we had to figure out which ones of those we wanted to use. Although a number of people working on a big project is a good thing, it can also be challenging to make sure everyone has the same thread of ideas and one part of the screenplay doesn't vary from another part of the screenplay. And also location scouting was difficult too because we had so many locations that could be used but just one shot, so. I was cast for this, it wasn't picked. I didn't even know I was in it. The kids showed up with a script and they ambushed me. But the irony of it is, is that the way they cast Troyer and I is accurate in life. We are lifelong friends, and I've, I, I met Jeff 21 years ago, and I worked at Castle Rock with him when he was a you know, young gun and crazy. I watched him quit the business, come back to it, get married, so I kind of feel like we've evolved over the years, and that's what our roles are, is, is cast as these lifelong teacher colleagues, and I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Production is something that takes a lot of effort. It takes hours and hours of filming and refilming, cooperating with the weather, the actors, and technical difficulties. Uh, we've been, it's been the craziest part of the movie making process. Everything. Uh, we've been working on a lot of stuff at once. Uh, screenplay, posters, uh, putting in the announcements for the school. Uh, and we've actually been starting filming a little bit which is weird because we haven't even finished our storyboard yet, so. And we had to do a whole voiceover scene, for one, because the mic stopped working, but um, not really voiceovers for most of the parts. It was more clever editing and trying to get the audio to work, uh, and uh, by doing background removal and uh, other techniques in Final Cut. I played the part as Kate Hood in the janitor scene. 
nothing really didn't work majorly problems, but just probably just scheduling is the biggest part. <laughs> to do the filming process, once you understand it, you learn what your role is in that process, and it's just a matter of having all the team ready at the same time to just knock it out. Best part about it was just watching the kids totally own the process. And uh, no, Mrs. Clark, do this again. This year, uh, the first thing that I was surprised with and actually really excited about was the kids who I was going to be working with. Uh, Nathan and Maddie were absolutely uh, uh, fun to work with, and it was fun to see Maddie, you know, in that role, and uh, Nathan. Well, this is the first movie I've done, so just seeing it replay, seeing yourself on screen, it's pretty fun. <laughs> well. The filming of Twilight Ridge the movie started in October and was supposed to end in December but ended in April, like six months after schedule. There were times where we had some downtime, which you can see from some of the nutty outtakes where you just had to entertain yourself and one another, uh, but yeah, never difficult. Um, it was fun working with Mr. McKinney and um, doing our scenes over and over. The lines. Memorizing the lines, because uh, I like to do things on the fly most of the time, and when I do them on the fly, it seems to be okay, but when I got to memorize those words exactly, uh, it makes it tough because it's so important, because I know that that part, my line, can make a difference for the next person, and so I got to make sure I hit that line, and so making sure that I hit that line perfect, and uh, there's a little bit of stress involved with that, um, so I just want to make sure it goes smoothly with that. That's probably it. In the end, production was messy, but we got it done after all the scenes were shot and reshot. Then we entered the post production, which is a whole other story. For post production, that's where we do a lot of editing. Well, all of the edit, well, a lot of the editing. We started doing editing right after we started filming, so we were able to work as we were filming, so we could sort of tell what we needed to film again. Um, what we needed to fill in, b-roll footage that we might need, and so we could sort of gauge our work based on what we had already done and edited. Post-production is when you finished filming, but it's the very bad part of the movie, where you need to edit, you need to make the final cuts, and then you promote your movie. We put a lot of work into it. We put some blood, sweat, and tears into this movie, so. I don't know about everybody else, but I think it'll be a good, for a middle school movie, it'll be pretty good. Uh, I think they're pretty good. My uh, episode Little Girl Lost turned out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with that. Post-production is super duper important because that's what our movie is going to look like. So visual effects, audio effects, special effects, all of these behind the scenes shots, things that really are going to come out to the front and play out to make the whole story and emotion and vibes come out. That's what's really important, and that's what post-production does. We have a lot of special effects that we needed. We needed some for the janitor, we needed some for stopwatch, we need some, a lot, for a little girl lost. We um, needed a robot. Sometimes the clips weren't loud enough, so we had the actors come in, and when we had the voiceover, we just edit the clips of the voiceover over the clip, so it just sounds fluent. Today is... May 4th, Star Wars Day, and I wanted this movie done two Fridays ago, um, but editing seems to be taking a long time too. I think that uh, every large-scale project like this has its challenges, but the, um, the overall process is really fun to be a part of. Uh, it was really difficult, but I think it will it'll work out, and I think it will be worth it. We've had people working on premiere night, working on budgeting, um, hanging up posters. So we've been doing a whole lot of social media, um, all of these things that go into post-production. We've been doing all of it. You know, it was a blast. Uh, working with the other cast members and then working with all of you guys as crew, um, it was a lot of fun. Some of what I've seen is kind of heartwarming. Some of it is kind of touching. Some of it is suspenseful. It's fun to see the kids act. It's fun to see the teachers act. And I think that whoever goes to premiere night is really going to enjoy it. And so what we all learn from this as, as students, as actors, whoever's involved, 
is a, a real true understanding of start to finish what can we do with our creativity and our time and our energy and, and the idea that 7th and 8th grade students can come together and um, produce a major uh, video like this, a major film like this, is quite a neat idea and I think it's just really, really fun to be a part of it. I'm just really excited to see it all and how it's mapped out and see the hard work of the class and, and the actors and all of that coming together. Um, so I, I think it's going to be great. Please watch the movie. I, I, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. They always do. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right.